Hi everyone, it's Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. I hope you have some creative time today and grab some supplies. If you do, I'd love if you'd journal with me. <laughs> so this is a current journal update. I've been working in a creative junk style journal and loving it. And um, I enjoy working in multiple journals at the same time. So I have worked in the Hobonichi Day Free and I've purchased a new one for a sticker splash session. So this is my new Day Free and uh, the Hobonichis are a Japanese journal if you haven't um, used one before. And this is my fun Friday session. So in the creative junk style journals, you really are doing a almost a completely different style, at least I do. And in the Hobonichis, I use a lot more stickers and doodling and these calendar pages, so a little bit of planner style things. So this day free is really serving multiple purposes for me. And I'm honestly missing stickers lately. <laughs> I haven't been doing that in a, in a junk style journal. So I love that this Hobonichi has the beautiful Tomoe River, River paper. I think I said that right. And um, the day free doesn't have date pages, so you can do uh, a week in review like I'm doing today. So these are quick sticks, which are tempera paint. And I decided that I'm also going to do, besides a sticker splash page, a creative lettering splash page. So I guess I'm gonna just call that word splash for short. So I have this book, Creative Lettering, by um, I think it's Jen Doe, and I'm looking through it for inspiration. I've had this in my stash for a while, and one of the pages that I keep going back to is this favorite words page by Jessica Swift. And the nice thing in this book is they tell you a little bit about each artist and give you a few samples of the artist's different uh, styles. So I love this style and I thought that would be perfect in the Hobonichi. You might see a light sketch or a doodle there. I just put the sticker paper on it. I was originally going to do some doodling of like a little girl and a, a little critter, but decided I was going to um, change gears and just end up doing a word splash page with this micron and some other markers that I had at my desk. Some of the Crayolas and um, highlighters and things like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Jenny Doe is the author. So I am going to jump in, think about the words that I want to use as sort of a, a summary of the week. A little bit of documenting but this is more like visual documenting and so playful a lot of color just being joyful so I thought about it and started my word splash page after a few minutes I wasn't sure what I was gonna do so I came up with the first words uh, tell me a story because this week I was having a lot of fun with some littles and doing some reading of books and uh, grab some washi tape and a few more supplies to to be ready for this uh, session. <laughs> so here's a word list that I came up with off camera that sort of summarizes some of the things that happened this week. And on the left hand side you might notice I do have a SEPT September 10th sticker so I'm really calling this session a fun Friday <laughs> where I just use it as a uh, an art therapy self-care session. So I have this great book sticker which I love and does describe my week. So many books, so little time and uh, I'm just using some fun highlighters and when you go over the highlighters if they're not completely dry as you can see I'm going over the pink with the yellow and so you get sort of this nice orange 
So there's a little bit of blending there that can happen and that um, I'm just going for really the opposite of my creative junk style journals in that I have a really fall style journal that I'm enjoying in one style and then I'm really going to a whole nother style journal in the Hobonichi. Very bright, playful colors and uh, just a lot of you know fun and inspiration. So are you a person that enjoys creative lettering? Are you a sticker person? What are the things that you like to do in your Hobonichi or I suppose any journal, right? A, a bullet journal or a creative uh, notebook or composition book. It, it certainly doesn't have to be a particular brand by any means. So this is just a, a special treat. I enjoyed the day free once before and decided it was definitely worth a revisit. So I'm doing uh, a little bit of the Adenti pen, which is such a nice, bold, strong line. And I'm writing on the green because there is an art show and an author showcase coming up this weekend on um, in the town next to us. And so I'm going to the green this weekend to check that out. It's supposed to be beautiful weather here. In New England and uh, looking forward to some fun outdoor time. Also writing about a dance class that a family bean was a part of and uh, I got a cute little video showing her doing her new moves and then um, I could use my own advice <laughs> in my week in review and uh, I put in the word listen. <laughs> so a lot of good words to sum up some of my thoughts and feelings from the week. And now I have a bit of joyful happy mail from my friend Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. This was great. And I'm noticing some of the words that I put on my page actually match what Rebecca sent me. So I had I had dug that out of my stash and uh, and realized that I had some good matches there. So I'm peeling off a few of them and uh, I did not a great job with the word work. So I'm just applying some glue stick there and um, I think I ripped the corner too, but that's okay. There's there's plenty of time to play. And as you can tell, these pages are not serious <laughs> in any way. <laughs> Just uh, ready to go for your inner child. And uh, I highly recommend it. If you would love to just uh, relax a... Uh, some visual journaling and a sticker splash and word splash page definitely did the trick for me today. So a very fun Friday. I'm gonna um, fiddle with Rebecca's beautiful happy mail because some of the stickers wanna stick more than others <laughs> and, uh, and pull off some more fun and inspirational ones. Oh yeah, I'm doing a a double listen so clearly <laughs> that was uh was something that was definitely a part of my week this week so i hope your creative journaling is going well and that you are doing the things that you love to do in your journals i would love to hear more about what you enjoy as well so i'm gonna keep on keeping on with this <laughs> and go for quite a while more off camera with some more colors. Clearly, I had a um, colorful, fun Friday and uh, enjoyed this end of the week review in stickers and in creative lettering and enjoying this brand new Hobonichi Day Free. So I hope however you are journaling, that it is a fun and relaxing experience for you as well. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, um, I would love it. 
and love sharing with you and thank you for those who already do. So I appreciate you stopping by for this creative journal update. Thank you so much for watching.